welcome to the series. Today you're going to be learning about and I'm going to show you how it looks as a small plant. So let's get started and get on with the tour. Okay, hello and welcome to today's session. Um, what's in my garden as a creative gardener. Um, we're very lucky to have growing some bananas. So this particular area um, I wanted to um, have all the fruits growing and um, we were given actually three, um, four, these four, one, two, this is the biggest one, three, four, as just like um, they were cut off the mother plant and so this is where I put them and I've mulched the area and what I find is that uh, there's a lot of um, the grasses around I haven't yet decided how I want to address it so trying to keep it down um, is an ongoing issue so as if I move back yeah this whole area I've put down cardboard here because this whole area I want to be you know like fruit trees surrounded so I've just got cardboard down um, this was shielding the trees um, and this bigger one is slightly lean so I need to put a support but it's grown really tall I'm just amazed this is like um, what are we now August, September, November, December um, six months growth so again the whole garden six months growth I'll just do a pan for you so this whole in terms of the plants that you see are six months old um, and you know I'm just pleased with the way that everything's going so this little one came up this little one came up and it was just like oh wow what's going on so we're forming like a banana circle and um, what I guess I'm eventually what I'm gonna eventually gonna do is move these are all going to be gone and I want to create some features along here and then there's going to be other plants um, along here but yeah this is my bananas and so what because it's so breezy what the banana plant does is it strip the leaves strip like this so can we see some whole ones holder ones uh, without well that's how they start off and then because it is because it's so breezy here so it could topple but what it's an, um, a mechanism um, I've, I've heard is that it kind of the leaves tear so that it doesn't compromise the tree the tree does not fall over but yeah it's just amazing to see that I can grow banana trees um, and it will be lovely when we can, you know, get some, I don't know how long it takes for bananas to grow, but um, it'll be nice when we can get some bananas from these, these trees, all four of them, five of them. Um, I might have to move two. They might be too close, just too close. I'm not sure, I've still got to do some more research. But I've got to, um, over the next few days, what I'm going to be doing is mulching this area, feeding them, and clearing the, the bags. What I'm going to have to do is move the bags so that they can cover the grass up there and kill the grass um, until I can think of what I'm going to plant behind there. Ideally, what I'd like is um, there to be trees. Um, we back onto an organic farm just over there. So from here, all around the property, I'm hoping to grow trees. So. I'm looking into that. But yes, this is my bananas. See, you can see actually how it's lean. But, um, so it needs to be propped up so that it can hold the weight of the bananas that eventually grow. Um, yeah, so this is, this is them. Amazing, the banana leaves. Banana leaves, you can do so much. I've seen so many art um, projects um, especially Caribbean crafts that are done with the banana leaves and you know whether you can 
do anything in terms of the uh, the fabric stuff I do or dyeing, I'm not sure. So we'll have to see. So that is, this is my bananas. It's the youngest you can say hello to. But yeah, they, again, they do need um, feeding. And uh, what I haven't done yet is put the Mexican sunflower on. So they need, yeah, some heavy feeding and just to clear anything that I don't need to be here. Some of this grass. But yeah, so that is, this is Banana Circle. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me and look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. Bye.